president is not elected by the popular vote of the country? The Electoral College decides the president, not us, not you. We think the Constitution should be amended to eliminate the Electoral College and be replaced with the national popular vote. My classmates and I have done further research on this topic since we have submitted our essays. The president is our ruler. We will have him or her in power for at least four years. Our president and the Congress makes laws and changes to the country, so it is important that we have the right person in office. If we abolish the Electoral College, it will eliminate the chance that a candidate with the most votes across the country from normal people can still lose the race. In the year 2000, Al Gore won the popular vote, but George W. Bush became president due to the fact that he won more votes from the Electoral College. Surprisingly, the 2016 election marked the fifth time in history where the popular vote did not win. As a follow-up to our other reasons, if you live in New York and you are a Republican, there is almost no meaning to vote because New York is one-sided to the Democratic Party. If we abolish the Electoral College, we could change all of this. Here I am, coloring in a map of the battleground United States, the battleground for the election, also known as the swing states. Here's my classmates having a fun with the idea of the swing states, but there's nothing funny about it. The candidates in this picture here hop from state to state for all their funding and all their attention to these undecided states, ignoring so many of the American voters in the other states. In the winner-take-all system of the Electoral College, we are not paying attention to every vote that should count. <laughs> National Constitution Center. Here we have a special treat for you, members of the audience, including a few celebrities, some indigenous to Philly. Hello, famous friends. How are you? We're out of 76! We're out of 76! I thought, I mean, get out. How are you doing? I'm great, Mr. Ones. Let's move on to our next contestant. Sophia Majeski says here your finalist for Mr. Sorko's class in the Grinder Township School District Citizenship Challenge Ed Contest. Yes. Once again, the Rendell Center gave us quite a lot to think about with a prompt about the Electoral College. We've learned a lot how the American election works and doesn't. Uh, can I interrupt? It works for me. This time at least. Great to hear. Welcome President-elect Sophia and Carson. Let's play Jeopardy. One daily double coming up in one of these categories. Okay then, I'll do the honors of starting the round. Electoral issues for $100. The battleground or swing states determine the outcome of the election, not the in individual voters. What is the West Coast offense? Bam, bam, bam! Sorry, Carson. The answer is, what is the first major problem with the Electoral College? Correct, Sophia. Select again. Electoral issues, 200. The winner take all method of distributing electoral votes. What is me? I'm the winner take all system. I won. It's going to be great. It's going to be huge, Alex. Bam, bam, bam. The answer is, what is the second major problem with the electoral college? <laughs> How about 300 electoral issues? The presidential race is limited to a two-party electoral race. The answer is, what is the third major problem with the Electoral College? Correct. How about quotes for 400? <laughs> How much is 
much are you going to risk? Let's make it a true da daily double. The Electoral College is a disaster for a democracy. This election is a total sham and a travesty. We are not a democracy. Who is our president-elect, Donald Trump, in 2012 after Obama defeated Trump? That is correct. And that's it for our game show today. Stay tuned for one final message from our teammates.